Hi, my name's Richard Armitage, and I'm reading a selection of my favorite classic love poems for Audible. I actually think love is almost indefinable. Um, it's a sensation, it's an idea, it's, uh, it's kind of elusive. It's why there are endless poems about love, there are endless movies made about love, stories that are told about love, paintings that are made, any kind of art form in, in a way that human beings attempt to express what they're feeling and cannot. Had we but world enough and time, this coyness lady were no crime. We would sit down and think which way to walk and pass our love longs day. Thou by the Indian Ganges side shouldst rubies find. I by the tide of Humber would complain. I would love you ten years before the flood. There's something deeply human about the idea that when you've when you've kind of entered into an engagement with another person, that you've had some kind of spiritual contact with them, physical contact, whatever that is, that there's an exchange. And the idea of the heart as a sort of an organ in the body, but as a sort of an idea, a spiritual idea that, that you know, you, you bequeath your heart to someone or you, you take care of someone's heart. I, I just think that the expression of that in that particular poem is really, really succinct and beautiful. Now, therefore, while the youthful hue sits on thy skin like morning dew, and while thy willing soul transpires at every pore with instant fires, now let us sport us while we may, and now like amorous birds of prey, rather at once our time devour than languish in this slow-chapped power. For me, in poetry, the line endings are very significant. The last word of each line um, is a springboard to the next line. Um, I, th I feel like when the, the poet organises their words into uh, stanza or verse, they are indicating to the reader or the speaker a, a certain musicality in the same way that a composer arranges their music on the stave. Every single one of those poems has a different um, expression of something that the, the uh, the poet is trying to to portray and I feel like there is a phrasing that is Im infinitely personal to every reader that reads any of these poems will read them differently um, and I I think that the the poet invites that so whether you're whether you're saying it to be heard or just saying it aloud for yourself I think they should be read aloud